it is me. It is me. Love bug. Love bug. Love bug. Love bug. Love bug. A S M R. I have some crazy like witch nails on. They're so uh, pointy. I don't think I've worn these actually in any video. I've worn them for a few customs, but I got these from, or my boyfriend got these from Etsy. I normally wear glasses. I normally wear glasses all the time because I cannot see without them. But I don't typically wear them for videos because they reflect. Anyways, I'm Lovebug ASMR, also known as Emily, also known as Terrified ASMR because I went into my bathroom and in the tub was a massive millipede and just terrified that it's just like lurking and it's looking at me and it's literally like waiting for time to to jump and to attack and to take my apartment as its own um because i went back in to take a photo my boyfriend's gonna be here soon i want to take a photo for him and be like kill this immediately when he gets to my apartment it was gone it vanished i feel like it has a plan anyways it's also it's also I 
sample of this like in the spring um and after i got it like i immediately purchased it it smells amazing it's like one of my favorite perfumes it has a lovely metallic cap or not metallic magnetic kind of clicks very hefty bottle super pretty very luxurious looking again i got this on mercari normally this is i believe like 190 to 200 dollars and i got it for 100 something i don't remember but it was way better than the actual price original the original Eva La Juicy and I want to say like noir because it's not as gourmand and sweet as you would imagine it to be based on the packaging but it still is really nice it's just not as gourmand as you would imagine based on the packaging, packaging, packaging. I'm I forgot I'm using this as a microphone
this is she's a couture noir i've been wearing this since literally middle school i'm not even kidding it's like one of my favorite perfumes this one's like a fruity version a bubble gummy kind of fruity version of the original Viva La Juicy. If you smell that, yeah, I love this one so much. waiting for some people to pass but it smells like a nice hug from somebody you love that's what i think it smells like it's warm and it's cozy and it's sweet but it's not like too sweet it's really nice and comforting and this is like the perfume that everybody in my family knows me by because i've been wearing it for so long it's like anytime i'm at the mall with my sisters or my mom and we go buy a perfume counter. This is the perfume that they always, they're like, Emily, look, that's Prada candy. I'm like, I know, you're cute, you know. This 
is a Hannah Mori butterfly. This is the Eau de Toilette, not the EDP. I've actually only smelled the Eau de Toilette. I've never smelled the EDP, but I've been wearing this for a while as well. It's one of my favorites. Um, actually, when I got the Prada candy at Saks, he befriended the perfume counter lady. Her name was Rosa, I remember, and she got her identity stolen. So, we befriended this lady, and then, like, she would send perfume samples to our house every month, few months or so. And she always sent this sample, and I never, ever purchased, like, an actual bottle for some reason until about two years ago. About two years ago. So, growing up, I only would use, like, the little samples that she got me, and I would, like, savor it because... I don't know if it's because I grew up in, like... Ohio or whatnot, but um, I could not find this perfume in the stores. I could not find them in the stores. Okay, my hair is crazy. So I would save her the little samples that Rosa would give us. Okay. What is this? Anamori. Anamori is butterfly. Anamori butterfly. Anamori butterfly. Anamori butterfly. Anyways, this smells really good. It kind of reminds me of M. McAuliffe's healing in gold but for like a fraction of the price because that's a niche brand um and i think i actually like this one a little bit more just because it's so nostalgic to me this is supposed to have like strawberries in it i don't smell that it's kind of like a very like like a warm banana cream coconut -y kind of vanilla scent banana cream vanilla scent Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. That was so loud. So yeah. So yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I've got to dinner soon, so I'm gonna try to wrap this up and not yap so much, but I have this one which has another crazy bottle. This is from the brand Killian. I always forget I have this perfume. Killian. This is their old packaging. They don't have this packaging anymore. But this is a Killian's princess. And it has like a little stand that says this original line. I don't know if they're new bottles have like a little quote, but their old ones did. And this one says, I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. Princess. Killian. Kind of looks like a little grenade. Um, oh my god. The grenades. Ah, I've loved Jersey Shore. Um, but this, I like it. I don't love it as much as I used to. I smelled this in high school and I like was obsessed with it. And I thought they discontinued it, which is why I purchased it from Mercari before I even re-smelled it. But apparently they, they just changed the packaging, so they still sell it in Sephora. And it's really nice. It kind of smells like... Um, so this is supposed to have notes of marshmallow and green tea. So a lot of people say it smells like a kind of like vanilla matcha tea, which isn't bad. I like it. I just don't know why I was obsessed with it in high school. It still smells good. It does. I just, 24 year old Emily is not as obsessed with it as 16 year old Emily or however old I was when I it. But yeah, it still smells good. It's warm, it's sweet, and it's a little bit like, like tea, which is nice. I think if you like maybe me some Marcella's matcha meditation, you might like this, but I actually don't like that perfume, so scrap that, you know. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, then I have this one, which has been discontinued, and it's like one of my favorite perfumes. It's a, uh, but this is Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren's Tender. based off of recommendation from Demi Rowling 
and I smelled this, this is discontinued, but way back before it was discontinued when I was in high school, I smelled it in Ulta, and I thought it was disgusting, and I wanted to throw up on my video, like I hated it, um, and then on a, like a whim, I was watching Debbie Rollins' videos, and I was like, why did I not like that, like the way she's describing it, I felt like I would really like it, so I gave it another try. And lo and behold, I absolutely love it. I don't know what I was on in high school. Like, why did I not like it? Anyways, tender romance, tender romance. Um, this kind of smells like a sweeter version, maybe more fruity, um, than Giorgio Armani's Code Cashmere, which is one of my favorite perfumes, which is also discontinued. Smells like a more fruity version of that. I don't know. This one has cashmere in it and ginger and I, some kind of sweet note, pear maybe or vanilla, some fruit. But it's really nice. I absolutely love it. Unfortunately, it does not stay on me that well. But Chef's Kiss ten out of ten. It's amazing. It's discontinued. And I've seen bottles go for like $300 now. I got this for $50, so God bless that person on Mercari. But I would totally spend like $300 on this. I'm not even kidding. It's one of my absolute favorites.